Top 10 biggest Ricky Martin red flags we should have noticed. Hey, I'm your host, Bridget Shields, and let's get right into the video. Number 10, strange comments. Martin is no stranger to controversy and has come under fire for several controversial comments that he has made. In fact, he himself has expressed outrage over a controversy that emerged after he told a leading US music magazine he enjoyed golden showers, which if you're not familiar, is the act of urinating on another person. In 2006, he told Blender magazine, quote, I love giving the golden shower. I've done it before in the shower. It's like so sexy, you know? The temperature of your body and the shower water is very different. But of course, those comments received immense backlash, so much so that several conservative leaders in Puerto Rico spoke out against him and said that he should give up his charitable foundation that helps deprive children just because of it. The pop star was particularly upset by these comments and posted a statement on his webpage saying that he had never thought his comments, quote, would lead us to an absurd political discussion that has become sensationalist. I demand respect for my foundation and our work. Interesting. Number nine, music theft. Martin was sued by Louis Adrian Cortez Ramos twice in the span of two years for allegedly stealing his 2014 World Cup anthem from the aspiring artist. The once finalist of Idol Puerto Rico filed a second lawsuit against Martin, claiming his song Vida was almost identical to a song he wrote himself. Ramos wanted $10 million for the stress that had been affecting him for several years from the lack of recognition for his work. To break down the lawsuit, he demanded $1 million for being humiliated, ill-informed and threatened, $2 million for copyright violation, and another $2 million for the quote, severe mental anguish he has suffered and continues to suffer for the loss of his composition and creation without being credited or compensated. And what about the other $5 million? Well, Ramos claims that this was because his right to compensation for direct or indirect profit that Martin received because of the music video was actually entitled to himself. The song was recorded by Martin and included in the World Cup's official album. Ramos alleges that he was surprised, disillusioned, and just disappointed when Vida came out because the song was almost identical to the one that he had composed. Until that moment, Martin was apparently an idol for Ramos. Number eight, bullying. It's well known that it took years for Ricky Martin to come out as gay, and he only did so in 2010 after facing immense pressure throughout his career. He now shows a lot of pride about it and has since joined various LGBTQ plus rights groups. But many fans were shocked when he admitted that he actually used to bully gay kids himself. Yeah, you heard that right. In an interview with GQ Australia, he confessed that out of anger, he used to bully gay kids as a child. Quote, I was ashamed. When you're told you're wrong by everyone, from society, from your faith, my self-esteem was crushed. I took my anger out on those around me. I look back now and realize I would bully people who I knew were gay. He went on to say that it was because he had internalized homophobia, and at the time, his sexuality was very confronting to him, and he wanted to get away from that. I mean, good on him for coming clean here, but it's just a shame that it's something he actively participated in, because he was afraid that people would do the same to him. His confession definitely shocked and divided the LGBTQ community, although it was mostly swept under the rug. Number seven, the Barbara Walters interview. Now, this isn't necessarily a red flag in terms of what Ricky Martin did, but rather something traumatic that he went through, which will give some background into his history. Back in 2000, Barbara Walters' infamous interview with Martin really added to the pressure the star felt to open up about his sexuality before he was ready. The singer has since spoken about how traumatizing the sit down was, but it was obvious that even in that moment, you can see on the camera that he is very uncomfortable with Walters' questions. In the interview, he is hesitant to respond after she says, quote, you know how you could stop these rumors. You could say as many artists have, yes, I am gay. Or you could say, no, I'm not. Or you could leave it as you are, ambiguous. But the fact is that he clearly was not ready to answer the question. And in a 2021 interview with People, Martin eventually admitted that he finds the interview unsettling even decades later, and that it gave him PTSD. Quote, when she dropped the question, I felt violated because I was just not ready to come out. He went on to say that he considered what he would do given an opportunity to redo that moment, and maybe he would have come out then. Number six, cultural appropriation. The international pop star has also been accused of causing offense to the Native American people and various indigenous cultures after posing for a picture wearing a traditional Native American headdress. The backlash against Martin came less than a week after Kevin Hart was met with accusations of cultural insensitivity for throwing his son a Cowboys and Indians themed birthday party. While working in the recording studio, Martin posted a photo on Instagram wearing a feathered Lakota headdress and aviator 
his sunglasses. He captioned the picture, quote, what happens in Miami ends up on IG. It's safe to say that the photo received less than favorable response from fans. Some suggested that he was taking inspiration from the iconic village people, but the comment section lit up with accusations of cultural appropriation. One user even explained that there is no longer an excuse for such cultural insensitivity and saying that there's information all over the internet now explaining why this is offensive to native cultures. So Martin definitely landed in hot water for that one, which made it clear that he wasn't really paying attention when a similar incident occurred with Kevin Hart. Number five, comments about the Virgin Mary. Ricky Martin once again came under fire for his characteristic statements, this time comparing the woman who gave him her womb for rent to the mother of Jesus Christ. Martin declared for the newspaper El Pais that his surrogate who gave birth to his children used her womb for rent, just like when Mary had Jesus in her womb. During the interview, he was asked if he resented being crossed off for using a womb for rent, to which he replied, quote, I did not rent a womb, I borrowed the womb and several times. And I have on a pedestal these great women who helped me raise my family. As a result, the singer received strong criticism from the Catholic Church, creating different opinions and sides about the true role of Mary in the life of Jesus, especially a priest who opposed modern statements and came out saying that Mary did not lend her body or her womb to God, first because the body is a gift from God and secondly because it's not ours to begin with. It's safe to say that many people in the Catholic faith were extremely upset by his comparison. Number four, lawsuit. Ricky Martin is being sued by his former talent manager, Rebecca Drucker, for breach of contract as she claims that he failed to pay her upwards of $3 million in commissions. The lawsuit, which was filed in the Los Angeles Superior Court on June 29th, read, quote, with Rebecca at his side, Martin made millions of dollars and therefore owes Rebecca substantial commissions. According to the legal documents, Drucker also resurrected Martin's career in every way possible with the help of sponsorship deals, touring and recording contracts, and even helped him sort out his personal and financial problems, like his alleged tax evasion and substance misuse, even assisting him when it came to his children and problems with his nanny. But it wasn't until February of 2018 that the two called it quits on their professional relationship after a particularly ugly incident in Dubai involving Martin and his representative. In fact, Drucker said that the singer's career took a nosedive after she stopped working with him, and he eventually begged her to work with him again after struggling a lot in 2020. Number three, toxic work environment. Rebecca Drucker claimed that Martin had substance abuse issues. Rebecca Drucker also claimed that Martin had substance misuse issues and fostered a toxic work environment. The manager explained that she first befriended Martin in the early 2000s and started working for him around 2013 before resigning in 2021 because she claims the singer constantly mistreated and manipulated and lied to her. This is where it gets even crazy. Crazier. The lawsuit also alleged that Drucker had to save him from facing serious repercussions after certain allegations almost surfaced in 2020. The lawsuit claims, quote, for years she protected Martin from the consequences of his reckless indiscretions. Rebecca did so not only because she was his manager, but also because she thought that Martin was her dear friend. It's unclear what these allegations against Martin are, but Drucker's claiming that she is being forced to remain silent about the abhorrent behavior behavior that she has both witnessed and endured while working for him. The legal documents allege that Martin has now threatened her and is trying to force her to sign an NDA. So it seems like he is trying his best to cover up something scandalous that his former manager knows. Number two, restraining order. This month, a Puerto Rican judge approved a restraining order prohibiting the singer from contacting the person who filed it. According to the newspaper El Vacero, the unnamed petitioner reportedly dated Martin for seven months before filing the order under Puerto Rico's domestic violence law. Most people know that Martin has been married to his husband, Juan Yosef, since 2017, and they share four children together. So these accusations would have been disastrous for their relationship. The accuser claims that he broke up with the singer two months ago, but the 50 year old was not having it and was seen hanging out near his ex's house at least three times. All of this allegedly caused his ex to fear for his safety. In fact, the authorities attempted to serve Martin the order near his home, but weren't even able to find him. The 
Singer's team has since attempted to clear his name and in a statement to The Hollywood Reporter said, quote, we are very confident that when the true facts come out in this matter, our client Ricky Martin will be fully vindicated. Martin took to social media to address the allegations and said that the protection order entered against him is based on completely false allegations. So he will be responding through the judicial process. And coming in at number one, incest claims. Now this is the mother load of all red flags. The same accuser who filed the restraining order in Puerto Rico turns out to be Ricky Martin's 21 year old nephew. So now we're not just talking about domestic violence, but also incest. In fact, it was the singer's brother, Eric Martin, who revealed the alleged victim's identity. Dennis Yediel Sanchez claimed that Martin was in a relationship with him for over half a year, during which time Sanchez says that Martin was physically and verbally violent. Under Puerto Rico's laws for incest charges, the sentence he could face is five decades in prison if the shocking claims are proven to be true. It's a bit of a gray area though because some reports suggest that Sanchez's mother is actually Martin's stepsister. So the two of them are not necessarily biologically related, but it's unclear whether this even matters in the eyes of the Puerto Rican legal system. But of course, Martin has doubled down on his denial of the allegations. And since his nephew's identity was revealed, his attorney told the Post, quote, unfortunately, the person who made this claim is struggling with deep mental health challenges. Ricky Martin has of course never been and would never be involved in any kind of sexual or romantic relationship with his nephew, even calling the allegations disgusting. Well, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe.